Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to the video. In today's session, we're going to take a look at how we can create quiz-based assignments. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's get over into Teams. Here we are in Teams, and today I'm going to be working in an English Year 7 class. I'm going to go into Assignments and select Create. I'm going to choose New Quiz. It will then give me the option of being able to recycle past quizzes. So again, that can save you a whole host of time. I've also got the option to look at quizzes that have been shared with me and also quizzes that I've favorited. However, for today, I'm going to add a new quiz. This will start up Microsoft Forms and I need to give my quiz a title. Once I've got the title in, I can add a background picture. So I get the option to do an image search online. I can pull an image in from my OneDrive or I can upload an image as well. Once I've added my picture, I can place in a form description. So I can put a line in there. At any time, if I want to see what the quiz looks like, I can select preview just on the top right there. And then I can always select back. Now I need to think about adding some questions. I select add new and I get the option to add a multiple choice question where this will then become a self-marking quiz. I can place in some text questions as well. So I get the option to put in some long text in there, which I'll have to grade manually and put a rating in there, dates, and we get a whole host of other options available to us as well. I'm going to start off with my first question. Once I get my question in, I can then place in the answers and by clicking add option, I can put additional lines in. Once I get my answers in, I do need to select which one is the correct answer. So in this case, it's 1930. And I need to give it a points value as well. I can have a question that does have multiple answers. So I can then select off the list. In this case, there's only one correct answer. I can also make the question required. This means that once the quiz has been opened by the student, they cannot exit out of it without answering all of the questions. I'm going to select add new for question two. Again, this one's going to be multiple choice. I then need to mark the correct answer. And because I awarded one point for the first question, it will then carry that through. Also, if I'd made the first question a required question, again, that would be reflected in a second and third question going forward. I'm now going to add a third question, so add new. This time it's going to be a text-based question. And at this point, I can then place in the correct answer. And in this case, there's only going to be one correct answer. So I'm going to be looking for Captain Flint to be placed in the box and that will auto grade it as correct. And I'm going to add a fourth and final question, a text one. And for the final question, two points because I'm looking for two things on the question. And it's also going to be a long answered question. So the student will complete the question. However, I'm going to have to manually grade this. Once you finish the quiz, we can go back to the top. We can change the style. So we do get some options here. So I'm just change the color on the background. And we do also get a host of other backgrounds to place in there. One thing to note that if you do change the backgrounds, it can remove any pictures that you've added previously. So I'm just going to close that down. And at any time, if I just need to know what it looks like, I can select preview. And this is what it's going to look like when my student opens it up. I also do get the mobile view as well. So this is what my students are going to be seeing if they're doing their assignment on a handheld device, such as a phone, for example. So I'm just going to select computer. I'm going to go back. Now that the form has been created, all I need to do now is select done. That will take us through into the assignments area. And within the assignments area, it will pick up the title of the quiz. I can place in some instructions. I do need to add more details for AI to kick in. So I can get AI to generate the instructions for me. Here's the quiz already attached. I can, three dots. If I select open in Teams, that will open the quiz or I can click on it, either either. So I can open it up, I can go back in, I can add new and I can edit any of the questions. Once I've finished, I just click close, that takes me back. 
and then as standard with any other assignment we then need to work out our turning dates and times i can still edit the assignment timeline so i can schedule this quiz for release so by default it's going to my english class here it's going to all of my students the only thing that quizzes don't work is for group assignments I've got five points possible, so that's the points that I've awarded when I created the quiz. I can still add a tag, I can still add a reflect check in, but also now I can put a time limit on it. From a drop down, by default, it's no time limit, so the student can open it up, start the quiz, close the quiz down, and keep coming back and forwards to it if they need to do a bit of research. However, if I do set a time limit, what this does mean is that when a student opens, the quiz the clock starts ticking even if the student exits the quiz to do some research and they've taken 10 minutes then 10 minutes will have come off the time so it doesn't stop the clock in this case i'm going to give my students 45 minutes to do the work and then from here i can discard it start again i can save it as a draft or in this case all i'm going to do is assign it so you can see zero out of 28 students have done the quiz I can always select the button, go back in, recall the quiz and make any changes. And that's the same for the rest of the assignment. If you've made any changes, don't forget to click update. Let's now go over into the student view. So here we are in the student view and I'm just going to go into assignments. Here's the quiz. So the student obviously gets the title, the points value and the instructions. All the student needs to do now click on the quiz we've got the 45 minute timeline on here and all the student needs to do is click to start the student can close and come back out however the timer is still going so I'm going to reopen the quiz as you can see the timer is now at the top of the page and we can go through and answer the questions at this point the student can close and come back in again, or the student can now click submit. The student can view the results, or the student can close it, and upon closing the quiz, this will automatically submit or turn the quiz in for marking. So I'm going to view the results. So you can see the student has got three out of five correct in the time of one minute 13. So question one is correct, question two is correct, question three is correct despite it's a short answer question. And question four, as this is going to be a long text question, it will be reviewed by the teacher. The student can either go back to the thank you page or they can then close it, which will then automatically turn in the quiz for grading. If the student attempts to open the quiz to redo it, they will get an already submitted response. If you import a quiz that's been set up in your forms area that has been set so that you can allow multiple answers, when you attach that to an assignment, that setting is removed. So it only allows students only one response. All the student can do now is close it and they have to go back. That will fall into their completed area and that is now waiting for the teacher to grade it. If you wish the student to have another go at the quiz, the assignment will have to be recreated and then redistributed to either an individual student or a group of students or indeed the whole class. Let's drop into the teacher view. Here we are back in teacher view. And again, I can open up the quiz. Here's the assignment that's been turned in by the student. I can click on it and open it up. It will then automatically open in the quiz. So here's Susan and she's got three out of five. I just need to go down here. And the question at the bottom of the page still needs a score because it's a long text question. It comes up with needs a review. We're going to give two points for that. We can overwrite any of the grading as well. So for example, if it was a short text question and the student didn't get it quite right or put additional words in, but you're happy that they've scored okay, then you can overwrite that grading. Once you're happy with it, you can then scroll through to your next student if there's anything been submitted. But at this point, all I'm going to do now is close it and I then need to select the student 
and then click return. That piece of work is now deemed as complete by that student. It will then fall into our returned area here. And if I then go back into my student view, the student can then go back into the assignments area. They can then see the quiz. They've scored five out of five. They can open it up. And because it's been turned in, they can then see the grading here, but they don't get the option to be able to redo the quiz. All they can do is close it and that work is deemed as complete. Using quizzes in assignments is a great way of being able to judge the level of knowledge attainment for our students. It saves us time because obviously we can use the self-marking element of quizzes and also we can reuse and recycle quizzes time and time again. So thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and if you hit the activity bell you'll be notified every time Cloud Design Box uploads a new video. Thanks for watching.